Well, when I grew up, I knew everybody within sort of a five block radius. That was my community. As I grew up and with the digital world being what it is, my community is now Australia, New Zealand, China, Norway, <laughs> Canada. My community is much larger than what it used to be. Digital Hub's being rolled out all around Australia and all the training is free. So what's great about that is it's accessible for everyone to come and participate. And the training's at all different skill levels from absolute beginners who's, who've never turned on a computer before to those who've got a few skills and want to not learn more how to engage with the online world and what else it can bring to their life. I'm really amazed about how quick you can tell a story, how many people it reaches straight away before you know newspapers books had such a limited amount of people that it reached now it just goes out to everybody and it's probably overload sometimes but you can find things out that you just had no idea about and to find like-minded people that are you know that are interested into the in the same story I mean previously you would take a picture you would put it in an envelope and you'd mail it to your relatives now you take a picture, hit a button, and it shows up on their screen. So it keeps me in touch with immediate family or even friends overseas, or business partners for that matter. It's a, a wonderful way to keep in touch with the community at large and immediate. It was really interesting that a survey in 2009, a nationwide survey, found that 26%, that's a quarter of Australians over the age of 15, didn't use the internet. And that's quite a huge um, huge percentage and that percentage is actually higher for retired people, low income earners um, and some sections of the community. I think it's very important for people in my generation to keep up to date with information technology and new technology in itself. A lot of people tend to be alienated by it. You know, they feel, oh, I don't understand that, I just want to use a phone. But if you can show them how it can be used and how it is being used, they come to use it more. We also work a lot with volunteers, they're a really important part of how the hub is run and we're really thinking that volunteer trainers, because they are members of the community, it makes it a bit less daunting for people that might not have the skills. It's, they feel more like their peers with their trainer. I understand what it's like not to understand computers. Um, I understand what it's like to have young people say, why don't you understand that? Um, so for me, it's, I'm very passionate about keeping things simple. So for instance, um, in February for Valentine's Day, to mark Valentine's Day, we're doing love letters to your city where you can come um, on an excursion throughout the city and you can share what you love about your city and then you can learn how to capture that information and share it with friends and family online. Making technology accessible to, to people so that they can use it. It's, not just for fun, but to actually have it be practical in their lives so that they can, um, you know, maybe do their banking and understand that it's a lot quicker, that they can reach their families by video and that it is actually simple, that they don't have to learn everything. To people that feel daunted um, by the pace of technology, I'd say don't at all. That's what the Digital Hub's all about. Um, once you learn a few basic skills, you can apply them across different types of technology and even as the technology advances, you still use those same skills. So technology is going to keep growing, but once you've got the skills, you're in there and you're part of the online and digital world.